We're here at the Off Exhibit um, at Kurum Wildlife Sanctuary. This is a purpose-built facility that was built especially for echidna research as a joint collaboration between University of Queensland and Kurum Wildlife Sanctuary. At the moment our breeding program consists of five females and then we've got about another nine males that rotate between being on exhibit and in our research facility. Last year was our biggest success year. We had two babies and then this year we've also had another four. So it's very exciting. Breeding in kittens and captivity has only been possible the last few years. Perth Zoo have had um, success I think for the last four years, but before then it was pretty much unknown. There was a few random births, but none of them were planned. They were all just noticed by the keepers. One of the techniques that we use to monitor the kidneys is video camera. It's incredibly important, it's one of the only parts of information that we can collect non-invasively from them, which makes it incredibly important. We have cameras on all the enclosures and the infrared cameras so we can see at night as well as during the day. And we also have cameras within their burrow boxes so that we can see what's happening in there. We've actually been able to capture a mating, which is the first ever. Having regular breeding of the echidnas will enable us to learn a lot more about their physiology and what is required for breeding echidnas. And this is incredibly important because while the short-beaked echidna isn't endangered or at any risk at the moment, their close relative, the long-beaked echidna in Papua New Guinea, is critically endangered. And so from what we can learn from the short-beaked echidna, we can then hopefully apply to the long-beaked echidna.